Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Cheryl. And for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Today, we are going to discuss about expressing ratios in their simplest form. In Miss Mercado's class, there are six books for every eight pupils. Can six is to eight or six eight be reduced to lowest term? To find the answer, let us study the table presented. Ratio can be expressed in colon form or in fraction form. There are six books for every eight pupils. So, in colon form, we can write this one as 6 is to 8. In fraction form, it is 6 8 or 6 over 8. To reduce fraction or ratio to its lowest term, we are going to find the GCF or the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator. The GCF of 6 is to 8 or 6 8 is equal to 2. We use this GCF as the divisor to reduce fraction to its lowest term. So let's divide. 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. Therefore, in simplest form, our answer is 3 is to 4. There are 6 books for every 8 pupils. It is also true to say... Three books for every four pupils. The ratio 6 is to 8 can be expressed as 3 is to 4 in simplest form. Simplifying ratios is just the same as simplifying fractions since ratios can be written as fractions. To reduce ratios in simplest form, divide the numerator and the denominator of each ratio by their greatest common factor or the GCF. The term simplest form is the same as lowest terms in ratios and fractions. To understand better how to simplify or reduce ratios or fraction to its lowest term, let's study some examples. The first example is 5 is to 10 or 5 tenths. And first is we're going to find the GCF of numerator and denominator. The GCF of 5 is to 10 or 5 tenths is equal to 5. Then we're going to divide both numerator and denominator by 5. So let's divide. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Therefore, the simplest form of 5 is to 10 is 1 is to 2. Another example, 14 is to 21 or 14 21st. The GCF of 14 and 21 is equal to 7. So, let's divide both numerator and denominator by 7. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Therefore, the simplest form or lowest term of 14 is to 21 is 2 is to 3. Next example, 10 is to 16 or 10 over 16. The GCF of the numerator and denominator is equal to 2. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by the GCF. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, 10 is to 16 in simplest form is 5 is to 8. Okay, our last example, 6 is to 7. 6 7, the GCF of the numerator and denominator is equal to 1. Then let's divide both numerator and denominator by 1. And therefore, our simplest form is the same with our given ratio.
Looking at the last example, the given is the same as its simplest form. This is because 6 and 7 are relatively prime. Numbers are relatively prime if their GCF is 1. Moreover, if the numerator and denominator are relatively prime, then the given ratio is in simplest form. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you so much for watching this video.